Hey my little Martians, it's your girl Quanisha Marsh and I'm back again with another video. And as y'all see, I have a special guest and this special guest name is... Jerry Sinatra. And make sure y'all go check out his channel because he have awesome content. Make sure y'all go on his page, subscribe, like, and comment on his videos because they are all awesome. And I'm not lying. So go please go check them out. <laughs> she lying. <laughs> So y'all, today we're going to be doing a 2019 New Year's tag and we're going to be doing 15 questions and we're going to be answering to all of them. So y'all be ready. It is 2019. Y'all should be happy. I'm happy. Your girl happy 2019. This is the Me year. Too. Oh my God. So let's move right into this video. First question, what did you do in the last year that you never done before? What did you do? You first. <laughs> no, because you first. Something that I did this year that I never did before was release an album, including this bad bitch right here. <laughs> but yeah, I learned a lot from it, like what sounds good, what didn't sound good, how to work a studio, how to be a producer, how to flow. I'm getting my, I got my vocals right, barely, but still, <laughs> and I made some money, so I released my first album, and I enjoyed it. And make sure y'all go check that album out, it's called Jerry Sinatra, Dark Knight, so it will be a card above where y'all can go check the link out and list all our music. The one we done together was called Think Again, so make sure y'all go check that out first. And we have a new song coming out, yeah. but I don't know when it's coming out yet, I'm still in the process of mastering it, but we do have a new song coming out together, yep. so... Be on the lookout. Mm, make a YouTube channel. I never thought I was gonna make a YouTube channel. He was the one that I always like was like, y'all, this is like a YouTube channel. And I was like, I don't know about this. So I was just thinking about it and just thinking. So I'm like, well, why not? Because I we all, me and him, we have good personalities, funny personalities. So why not share with y'all uh, how we act? Because it's just crazy. So, we goofy. Yes. We are so goofy. Making a YouTube channel, that was the best thing basically mm -hmm. that ever happened to me. Cause Aww. I just like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of addicted to it now. That's why I keep posting constantly because it's just nothing like it. <laughs> what was last year's New Year resolution and how did you do? Mine was start a YouTube channel and hit 1K before my birthday. I didn't think that I was going to do it, but it happened all of a sudden. The numbers was going up, and I'm like, oh, my God. I'm literally going to make it because I thought I wasn't going to make it, but I put it in God's hands, and he made me do it. So, so back in the beginning of the year, I had, like, no followers on Instagram. I wanted to hit 500 followers, which I did. I wanted to make an album, which I did, and I wanted to... Oh, and I wanted to graduate high school, which I did. I so badly wanted to drop out of high school. So he badly. People made me so mad. I just wanted to drop out of high school. Biggest achievement of the year? My biggest achievement of last year was, I have to say this, definitely the supporters I have now and the like friends that I've made on the internet through music and through social media because I have some great friends yes. that I've made and colleagues. Um, mine is stay in college for one. I'm still in college, still going. And for y'all that don't know what I'm going for, I'm going for child development. And my next biggest achievement was get 1K on YouTube, as y'all know, and as y'all seen the video. And if you hadn't, go check it out. Yeah, y'all really gotta watch that video. That video was so funny. The mukbang yes. at the end was worth it. Like It was lit. The that was... cake was good. I can still taste it to Me this too. day. Me too, so like moist. Shout out to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing that you bought last year? My camera. It cost me, that's the first thing I've ever spent yeah. that much money on. No, and it felt like my soul was leaving my body when I bought that because right. I was so sick. But thank God it was on sale though because yeah. the original price, ooh, it was yeah. looking kind of feisty. Well, that's my biggest, like, most, like, favorite thing that I bought. Mine is buying an iPhone 7 Plus. Like, I've been dying to get, ooh, 
<laughs> I've been dying to get the iPhone 7 Plus because it had like the best camera to me. It had the portrait mode and I was like, bro, I gotta get this camera. I mean this phone, cause the phone like is so lit. But as soon as I get the iPhone 7 Plus, they wanna have like a 10 where they have like what they call Memoji. Oh yeah, Memoji. With Memojis and stuff, and it made me so mad and I'm like, bro, I want that now. So my next thing I'm gonna buy, try to buy, is an iPhone 10. If you could change anything about the year you had, what will it be? I wish I would never have gotten into a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because that created so much drama. You, that was crazy. No. So yeah, not being in a relationship anymore, mostly because that relationship was the worst thing that ever happened to me and it caused so much mess in my life. So, that. Mine is basically cutting people off, like the toxic people, negative people, people that like wasn't there for me. Like I need people that's gonna motivate me, support me, like just be there for me most of the time. And like, don't show me fake love. Cause I don't need fake love. Your girl right. too famous for this shit. So <laughs> yes, mine was basically cutting people off and the people that I cut off, it was a good thing. I'm in a better place now. I hope they're in a better place now. Like I said in my last video, I wish them luck. I don't wish no bad on them. I wish them to have a positive 2019 year. So, yeah. If you had to choose one word to represent the year you had last year, what will it be? Mine is an eye opener because everything that I've been through, it was like an eye opener. And now that I see, because the rest of the times I couldn't see what was going on. And like, thanks for last year for being an eye opener to me to like cutting all these people off. And that's what I really think that I needed for like space and to become a better me and better myself was for hanging on to people that I didn't need to hang on. So like for now, I feel better for cutting all these people off that didn't mean anything to me or wasn't there to support me and support my dreams. Okay, <laughs> mine was similar. Um, my word's educational because I did learn a lot about a lot, a lot, a lot. Yes. About relationships, <laughs> friendships, just everything. Being, I learned how to be an adult and then stop being an adult, so. Yeah. Ooh, we're becoming better people. <laughs> <laughs> Something you looking forward to this year. Mine is new memories and new experiences because I know this coming up year is going to be fun. I'm going to have mm -hmm. a whole bunch of memories, especially with YouTube because, bro, if y'all see the behind the scenes of how I be acting on screen, y'all <laughs> would freaking laugh at how I be acting on screen. So at the end of this year, I'll be having a bloopers video of all my crazy funny moments and how I act behind the scenes on the camera. Something I'm looking forward to in this new year is working with new artists and different artists because I do love music and I love working with people and hearing their voice and like how I can like make them sound different and like how, like feel them on a track and stuff and all that. So I definitely am excited for the music and like doing new music with people and new people and meeting more people on the platforms that I'm on. And just, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, mine's meeting um, new people and doing more YouTube collabs with different people because I want to have like a whole yes. bunch of collabs to like get other people mm -hmm. out there and me getting on their channel so I can get out there. Right. So it can be a, you know. Joint effort thing. Yes. Yes. That'd be great. Best book you read this year? Mine's is none. <laughs> <laughs> that is bad and like i said in the last video um i hadn't done none but my new year's resolution is to read one book a month that's what i'm striving for one book a month because i love reading and for like last year it's just been a slack yeah so i need to re-download kindle and get my books back so your girl can get back to being a smarty pants <laughs> I also do not know, I, I know I didn't read any books this year. And if I did, I don't remember. I think I only read like a poems when I was still in high school this past year. So I don't think I read any books. Um, and I probably won't read any next year, so. <laughs> <laughs> what are you hoping more of this coming up year? I hope more people will start like, you know, giving me a try 
Cause like it's so hard to be a bigger influencer nowadays. Cause like there's so many already, and like people like watching who they like to watch. So for somebody new to come into the game, like doing YouTube videos and stuff, and even making music, it's hard for you to get your stuff out there and for people to give you a try. Cause they got nothing to like. Like if you come on YouTube and making videos, and they don't see you making an effort, they're not gonna want to like watch you. Cause they like. Like, they're going to have to, you have to invest something into them for them to invest something into you. Mm. So, mine is definitely that, one, I need to start doing my videos like I'm supposed to be doing them because I haven't been doing them. So, yeah, true. You need and to then, get out to the hit. <laughs> <laughs> and then, for people to just take a chance on us. Mine is just, just blessings on top of blessings. I'm praying for the best. That's all I got to say. How old will you be turning this year? Well, your girl just turned 20. December the 29th, I officially joined the Dove Club. And, like, at my birthday party, it was lit. Bro, I gotta tell y'all. So, everything went good. And I thought I was going somewhere else. But we went another place. So, basically, for my birthday, I snuck in a casino. So, <laughs> that's the tea. I might do a story time on that. So, Better be on the lookout for that one. But I did have fun, and I will be turning 21 this year. <laughs> and you'll be a legal drinker. Yes. But something I don't do. I hate drinking. <laughs> Me <drinking>. either. <laughs> Can't relate to those people. I will be 19 this year. Finally out the 18 age. Yes. I'm so sick of being 18. I've been 18 for four years now. So I'm just sick of it, okay? Man, I be want to be 18 again. Like, I don't know why. Forget 21. Ain't like I drink, so. I mean, I true. can care less. I just be wanting to be 18 again. Like, if somebody probably come up to me and ask me, I'm going to have to think about it. Or I might just slip up and say 18. <laughs> I'm a mistake. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But then again, at 21, you get in the clubs, even if you don't drink. Yeah. You can still party. True. I can't wait till I'm 21. What are the most played songs of 2018? Mine was Frito Bang Father, NBA Young Boy Can't Be Saved, and Jada Youngin Elimination. Them the ones like I played out, played out. I definitely played out some Iggy songs too much. Oh yeah, you did play that Which album. Which one? The new album. album. But what yeah. song would I play the most on that? I forgot. It was Hey Iggy. Hey Iggy. It was that one. I played Hey Iggy way too much. It was that one, Kareem. And Basically, that Kawasaki. That was your top three. Kawasaki? Yes, Kawasaki, <laughs> whatever it is. But then was your top three oh, that yes. you always played. Those are the best. So that's his top three, y'all. He didn't know, but I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I played those songs way too much, you man. So did. <laughs> did you celebrate your New Year's with a kiss? I don't know, did I? <laughs> Sadly to say, no. I'm a loner. <laughs> Bruh. I am a loner, but it is by choice. Oh, sassy with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Y'all going to be single for life. I ain't never getting a relationship. Man, it's, <laughs> that's dead. What film are you excited to see in 2019? Ooh. That new Pokemon movie. Yeah, mine's Pokemon, too. Pokemon Detective, this was yeah. called. Lion King. Oh, yeah. And this new movie called Us is by Jordan Peele. Yeah. You saw that? Yeah. It looks so good. They're my top three right there. Those are good movie choices. I agree. And you I know, you know Sonic? They got a Sonic movie coming out. Mm, I probably won't watch that. Oh, no. I might. Mm. And it was like, I think they got like the Nun 2 coming out. Annabelle. It like, yeah, it was a whole bunch of movies yeah, that, that looked super good. And I'm like, dang. But I got to see that Pokemon movie. And Man, that looks movie. the best. I yes. want to see it so good. And I know everybody waiting on the Lion King. Yeah. Because that's going to be lit. Man, the theaters, you're going to be able to get in there. I know, they're going to be sold out. <laughs> And I'll be mad if they don't have it down here because you know sometimes they don't be having all the movies. I know, like I want to see Assassination and then have it. Oh, oh we can watch that tonight. Yeah, we can. Great. I don't even know what it's about, but okay. Um, where do you want to travel in 2019? I want to go to either New York or Los Angeles. Okay. Mine's not that far. I want to say. 
Well, I've been in New Orleans, so I can't say that. Um, I'm gonna say Florida. I don't know what part yet, but I wanna say Florida. Okay, Florida's pretty. Yeah, never been. I always wanna be. You never in Florida? Mm-mm. Well, we got a road trip to go on this yeah. year. <laughs> but yeah, I ain't never been to Florida. Drop in the comments below what part of Florida that I should go to. Last question, number 15. What are you going to stop doing in 2019? I'm gonna stop letting my feelings get the best of me. Cause a lot of times I be in my feelings and I just make quick decisions. Like all of a sudden, like, like if I'm mad, I'll do something like, you know, revenge type shit. And right. if I'm sad, I'm gonna do revenge type stuff. And like, y'all, if y'all see my channel a while back, y'all already know what happened. So I did that stuff yeah. out of emotions and I did other stuff and you know, just, just so much emotional stuff I do. Cause when I get emotional, I just act on it and I, I want to stop doing that this coming up year. True. Mine's is, um, stop stressing a lot for one. And the other is stop being on my phone 24 seven. Like I said, cause that is very bad for me. And I hate just going on Instagram all the time, just refresh, refresh, refresh. Then go on Facebook, refresh, refresh. No, I gotta stop doing it. I need to do some of my life instead of being on my phone. Donald Trump is trying to get the best of us. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not gonna happen. Oh, Donnie. They call him Donnie now. I die when they say that. Uh, bro, tell me why I saw this commercial yesterday. Joe showed me, but I ain't, we ain't gonna say that. But old boy showed me and um, we was, he was on YouTube and it was like this commercial. And it was like something about you gotta sign up to impeach Trump. I was like, is this real? <laughs> they trying to get like, out the White House. I was like, is this real? I'll sign it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was like, bro, this commercial is crazy. So y'all, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And go check out your boy, Jerry Sinatra. Make sure y'all go subscribe to him. Check out his new content yes. and his album. Yes. And always mm -hmm. remember, y'all, anyone can find a dirt in someone, but be the one who find the gold. And see you, girl, in the next video.